Hi folks, welcome back to Blackbeard's Detailing's YouTube channel. Uh, this is a slightly different type of vlog. This is my new project car. I uh, bought it just a couple of days ago. It's done 96,000 miles. It's a Lexus SC430. I've wanted one of these for years, absolute years, despite what bombing Jeremy Clarkson and the Top Gear cast all said about it. I think it was voted as their worst car in the world, but far from it. I've driven hundreds of cars and this is far from the worst car in the world. The bodywork wise, I went over everything uh, prior to picking it up. A couple of early wee bubbles with uh, rust appearing. However, it's a 2003 car and it's been in between England and Scotland all its days. So, with the salty winter weather, the chances are it's going to pick up a few odds and ends. I'll start off with the bad points first. Bad points, the alloy wheels are absolutely destroyed. They're in a dire need of refurbishment. They come in two different settings, essentially. This top section is bolted in place. This comes off and leaves the full alloy wheel section underneath. So they will be going away to get refurbed at some stage. The tyres are on are absolute budgets, which uh, are horrendous. Tyres are the only thing that holds you onto the ground, so I would much rather spend a bit more money and get much better tyres, especially the, the rears. It's rear wheel drive, it's a 4.3 litre V6. It puts out 300, around about 350 pounds foot of torque and is just under 300 brake horsepower. So there's plenty of power going through those back wheels and the tyres are just absolute budgets, they're, they're ditch finders. So with, uh, with our unexpected weather in Scotland, we're getting showers. Uh, I would much rather have some better rubber down on the car. Back tyres are pretty much new, but doesn't matter, they'll be getting taken off and changed. The sound system was one of the highlights of this car when it was first released. It's a Matt Levinston uh, surround sound system, 6 CD disc changer. It even has a tape deck. Uh, my mate Stu's uh, trying to dig out his Kylie Minogue tape from somewhere, so that should be a uh, good fun once we get that in. Everything, that all the speakers all work, but I think the, the it's got six benigns in the door cards. I think the rear or sorry, the, the front passenger side one, uh, I think that the inner cone section might have perished because there's a bit of, it's a, it's a weird way to describe it. When you've got it on and you, you turn the volume up the bass, it kind of, this is going to laugh at the impression, but it's kind of like, <laughs> kind of like a, a, a raspy kind of, but opposed to a punchy bass. So I think that speaker uh, might need replacing. Uh, I'll probably just order the two the two front ones to match just because there's no point in replacing one of them if that one's gone the other one's probably close to being on as well I uh, try to think other kind of negative things that I need to get sorted there's nothing that needs done it was away at, uh, this morning at Castle Kerry Motor Company they've done a full check on it it's, it's got plenty of life left in its MOT but before I'm hurtling about in it and doing stuff I want to do and starting to spend some kind of real money on it, I wanted them to give it a once over to make sure there's nothing diabolical that's needing done. Suspension's fine, the drive chain's fine, emissions fine, everything is working as should. So yeah, I'm, I'm delighted in that aspect. So far, I have removed the, the CD player from the dash. There was a CD player that was coming up uh, error uh, CD error 3 was coming up, which check that out and that shows as a CD jammed in the system. So that has all been changed, the CD player got completely removed, took the top section off the CD and lo and behold, when you look straight down at the bottom, one of the wee trays the CD goes in was sitting at an angle. That will get taken out, it was a pain in the backside right enough, but we got it, that was taken out, put back together again, reinstalled in the dashboard and works fine. The the other thing I've done has been, obviously I've gave it a, a thorough kind of decontamination wash, removed any kind of tar spots, iron fallout, 
and just put a, a spray application of my Blackbeard's Detail and Yo Ho Ho Hybrid uh, sealant on it. So that's been sprayed on just to give it a wee kind of touch of protection now. Um, fully but I'm absolutely crammed full the cars for the next kind of four weeks so I'm struggling at any time we'll be able to get this in but if I get a cancellation uh, through I'll probably just slot this in there. Uh, other negatives, tyre pressure monitoring system has shown a fault that is partly really common with them especially when they start getting to this age however there is a uh, monitor already for it so i've got this here it's a valve assembly and i believe it's the front left sensor which is the issue so when that's uh, going to get its wheel refurb i'll get a full new set of tires uh, put on it probably michelin pilot sport fours uh, i've kind of picked out for them either that or bridgestone potenzas and i'll get them to swap this over at the same time interior everything works everything's perfect there's a tiny wee bit of chrome that's chipped off the the centre badge and the steering wheel however I've got some chrome paint to touch that that round it's not going to be perfect but it will kind of detract that attention from your eye when you see the white from underneath the badge the only thing I'm needing to do kind of repair wise cosmetically is this door handle which we'll probably do today to be honest the outside cover you can probably see there is quite loose so I'm going to sort that nothing else is pretty much needing done apart from a full correction ceramic coating the hood works it's a, a hard top metal roof works exactly as it should up and down nice smooth action the front headlamps were pretty cloudy when i picked up the car uh, kind of safety concern should be your headlamps shouldn't be cloudy they should be clear so before i basically done anything to the car it got a, a thorough wash and then get into the unit after i'd finished uh, with one of the customers cars and I wet sanded them down and polished them back to perfect clarity and then put two layers of base coat ceramic coating over the top of them to protect them and they're back to beautiful clear basically plastic in the front of it engine wise everything is all there and present there's no covers needing purchase there's nothing like that if the car lifted up in the ramp with a look underneath it again nothing is needing replaced there's a wee uh, clip that's kind of hanging down from it so I'll need to sort that, uh, I'll probably do that today I'll just get it lifted in the ramp and I'll get down underneath it but anyway this is just a very brief introduction to my new project car I'm looking forward to doing some more footage uh, on this uh, it's probably a bit more relaxed footage uh, a bit more kind of fun focused uh, hopefully not that you, you, you don't find my other vlogs fun but this one a, a bit more kind of tongue in cheek a bit of, uh, if, I've, if I've got my, my friends up once restrictions are, are a bit more relaxed uh, you'll hopefully see a bit more of my kind of uh, how, how I'm kind of personality wise kind of coming out in, in these vlogs uh, and also to just portray the fact that I, I don't just do this job for the money. I genuinely love cars. Cars are, are like other people love football and, and golf. And I just love cars, everything to do with them. So this is a, a, a really, really nice kind of treat for me to, to pick this up. So, yeah, stay posted. And I shall get some stuff all uh, uploaded soon on it and uh, yeah take care thanks for watching